Hey there, I'm Sarthak with Teachmore. Today, I'm going to tell you how to integrate Teachmint Payment Gateway with your Teachmore account. And just like all the other features of Teachmore platform, you don't have to be tech savvy to use this tool. It is very simple and takes only few minutes. So let's get started. Before you start the integration process, you need to fulfill some mandatory requirements. Firstly, you must have terms and conditions, refund policy, privacy policy pages on the website. When you create an academy with Teachmore, we create default policies for you to use and modify when needed. Other than policies, you must have at least one course published with pricing on the website. And lastly, you must have contact us and about us page with information such as address, email ID and contact number. Also, I suggest trying to design at least one landing page. Once your website is ready, you need to complete the KYC process in order to initiate the Teachmint Payment Gateway integration. As part of KYC process, you need to submit the information such as bank account details, business details, PAN card and Aadhaar card. So make sure you have all these things ready before you get started. Okay, I assume you have everything ready. Let's do the integration. Now that you have fulfilled all the prerequisites and have all the required information with you, go to settings, then go to payments. To activate Teachmint payments, click on complete KYC to receive payment. This will take you to another tab in your browser. On this tab, you have to fill in your business details. First, you need to select your business type. I'm going to select unregistered. You can select as per your business type, whether it is unregistered, proprietorship or any other. After selecting the business type, you need to enter the business name and contact name. Below the contact name, you need to choose a business category. After that, you have to enter a brief description of your business. Once all the fields are completed, you can click on the submit button. Now remember one thing, these details cannot be edited once submitted. You have to be very careful while entering all the details and always double check before submitting. Once you submit the business details, it will unlock the next tab. The next tab is owner details. Here you have to enter the academy owner's name, pen number, phone number and email. Enter the details and click on submit owner details. The next is bank details. In the bank details section, you need to enter the bank details of the beneficiary of the course fees. First, you have to enter the beneficiary's name, then bank account number and IFSC code. Enter the details and click submit. On the next tab, you have to upload your business documents. The number of documents you need to upload depends on the type of business you have selected. If your business type is unregistered, then you only need to upload Aadhaar card. Upload documents and click on submit. And it's done. After you submit the KYC form, Teachmint will verify your details in next 3 to 4 days. Once your verification is complete, you can start receiving the payments. I hope now you have the clarity on how to integrate Teachmint payment gateway with your Teachmore account. If you still have any queries, you can reach out to our team. Happy teaching!